Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into a workflow that bridges two powerful tools, SketchUp and Revit. Whether you're bringing in assets from SketchUp's 3D warehouse or sending your Revit model into SketchUp for quick visualization, this tutorial is going to make that process smooth and precise. So, let's get started. Before we start, SketchUp is known for its intuitive, fast 3D modeling capabilities. It's fantastic for conceptual designs and accessing a huge library of ready-made models from their 3D warehouse. Revit, on the other hand, is a powerful BIM tool designed for detailed architecture, documentation, collaboration, and precise project coordination. It's the backbone for large-scale projects where data-rich models are essential. So the question is, why combine them? Because they complement each other perfectly. You can use SketchUp to rapidly create or source complex geometry and then bring that into Revit for detailed BIM development and documentation. Also, you can export Revit models into SketchUp to leverage SketchUp's visualization and presentation strengths or to iterate design ideas quickly without the overhead of Revit's complexity. This is all thanks to the new and improved interoperability tools like SketchUp's Revit Importer. This tool is available in SketchUp Studio, and the process is now more seamless than ever. This importer preserves model structures by converting Revit families into SketchUp components and mapping Revit categories to SketchUp tags, which means less time cleaning up models and more time designing. It also respects materials, transparencies, and even section planes. So your model looks and behaves as expected in both environments. Importing SketchUp models into Revit can also be done as link or in-place components giving you flexibility depending on your project needs. Whether you want to keep the SketchUp model dynamic or embed it permanently for further development in Revit. In short, this interoperability lets you save hours or even days by avoiding manual remodeling or cleanup. It also combines SketchUp's creative flexibility with Revit's BIM precision. Aside from this, collaborate more effectively across teams using different tools. And lastly, access vast libraries of manufacturers and furniture models from SketchUp's 3D warehouse directly in your BIM environment. This synergy makes your workflow more efficient, flexible, and powerful. So you get the best of both worlds without sacrificing time or quality. Okay, so let's start by exporting a Revit model into SketchUp. First, what you want to do is open your Revit project and switch to a 3D view that contains what you want to export. Go ahead and hide any annotations or elements you don't need. This keeps your SketchUp model clean. So first, head to File, Export, then CAD Formats, then go ahead and pick DWG. In the Export Settings, click the three dots option right over here, and under the colors, choose Specified in View for accurate color mapping. Then, under Solids, choose ACT's Solids. This ensures better geometry handling in SketchUp. Once you're done, save the file in AutoCAD format for compatibility. And you're good to go. Now, switch over to SketchUp. Here's how to bring in that DWG. Go to File, then Import, then select your DWG file. Click Options and confirm your units and materials in the settings. Once that's done, hit Import. Depending on the file size, it may take a few moments. Once it loads, your model should be grouped and colored just like your Revit 3D view, hopefully. Now it's ready for quick edits, presentation renders, or concept modeling. Now let's reverse it, bringing SketchUp models into Revit. So what you're gonna do first is open your SketchUp model. If it's a newer version, save it to SketchUp 2018 or earlier. Revit can't always open the latest SketchUp formats. In Revit, go to the Insert tab, click Import CAD or Link CAD, and yes, Revit treats SKP files as CAD imports, then use Import to embed it permanently. And you can even use Link if you want to keep the file connected for future updates. Select your SKP file and place it in your project. 
Don't forget, it comes in pinned. You'll need to unpin it before moving or rotating. This is especially useful when you're adding unique furniture or custom design elements you won't find in the Revit library. Okay, before we wrap up, here are a few tips to avoid messy models and keeping your workflow smooth as we promised. Use groups and components in SketchUp. Raw geometry can get chaotic during import, so you should always save in a compatible SketchUp version for your version of Revit. Decide whether to import or link based on whether you'll update the SketchUp model later as well. Hide unnecessary elements when exporting from Revit because it keeps file sizes light. Also, double check units on both sides to avoid scale issues. These little habits will save you time and rework every time you jump in between formats. Okay, that's all I needed to tell you. Here's a quick recap. Export your Revit view as a DWG using ACT solids. Import the DWG into SketchUp with correct settings. Save SketchUp files in an older version for Revit compatibility. Import or link SketchUp models into Revit via the Insert tab. Organize your geometry and double-check units to keep everything tidy. And that's it! If you found this helpful, make sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment if you got questions or want us to see more tutorials like this. Thank you for watching and as always, Happy modeling!